It feels weird to be on. I don't think I've ever it's been good. on on this side of. Flip this script. It's, it's fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> now I know what it feels oh, like. Oh, hey, man. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. Mateo, ¿qué te pasó? Hey, pues me caí de la baica. Este, iba por las tortillas, venía de las tortillas y pues así pasó. Me caí, ni tortillas, ni brazo. Ya. ¿Cómo ven? ¿Cómo ven? Because yeah, we pick up tricky on because we had one bad day. Okay, I guess you guys, you guys, you guys. Hola, dude. Oh, shit. Yeah. Wait, what pizza take is it? Pizza take? Oh, hey. I can't eat pizza. Hey. I can't eat pizza. Hey. I'm hungry. How are you, Mateo? My mom is really hungry. You can't eat pizza. I cannot eat pizza. You feel dizzy, dizzy? We were kind of getting dizzy. Big win. Oh. Ali, how are you feeling? Um, pretty good. I, I'm going fisting. Yay! <laughs> You're killing it. You're killing it. You're doing the really pizza? good. Seriously. Oh, the movie. I'm the movie. The movie. Um, this is Omar. We're gonna interview Omar! him because he's every interview. What's up? How do you feel? To oh. No, no, no. Oh, like a natural. No, I don't know how to act. Like no, I don't know how, to act. how do you feel? Okay. How do you feel about the scene, though? I think the scene was beautiful. I don't see really like. The everything, the lighting was beautiful. Mm -hmm. That that like circle that you had behind you was beautiful. I thought mm -hmm. the acting was perfect. I thought well. you did such a good job, seriously. Yeah. And Mateo did too. I think it. Yeah. No, I've known Rico for a long time, yeah. so I think that's how I got connected to, to this project. And I don't know where like I was hanging out with Rico so somewhere that he was like, I have a cousin that super into filmmaking. Filmmaking, you gotta meet him. He's amazing. He's actually work, thinking about like working on this movie, and like he kind of told me a little bit about the story. And then later on, he asked me if, if we want to go out and get tacos. So we went and got tacos, and Miguel came, and that's the first time I met Miguel. And I'll never forget. I remember see Rico walking, and I see this kid with the biggest smile on his face, just looking at like the happiest human being of all time walking in. And I just like from the moment I saw him, I like felt connected to, to Miguel. And I felt like this is somebody that I wanted to like get to know more and be friends with. And just that conversation that I had, it was just all three of us talk, like having tacos and like recognizing the place we were having tacos, like they didn't fry the tortillas enough. <laughs> and, just <laughs> and just realizing that like we're all friends and like we're all connected to each other at a deeper level at a way that I don't connect with the everyday person, the American person. Like we're all three from Mexico and We all three grew up with like Mexican parents that would make us chilaquiles or enchiladas or whatever it is that uh, we connected at a deeper level. And when they both kind of told me about the story, I was like, whatever I can do, like literally anything that I can do, I'm gonna try to do to help them. I kind of like helped in a film here and there, but I've never been in, involved in a film as much as this one. And I honestly, like, I can say that I fell in love with it. And I think it was, I wasn't sure if filmmaking, like, at this level would be something that I would ever want to do. Uh, but once I saw the collaboration that happens when you're work, working with the crew, and I think also this crew was special. I think the fact that, like, when I, would, when I would come to set, every single person that was there would just doing whatever they could to pitch in and help in whatever way they could. And I think it was just so much, it was like magic that was happening. Like if people saw it, like it didn't matter who was doing what, it was just about how can we do this? Like you would see like Kenny, our DP would be getting a shot and then it would be maybe Nash that would be do, getting the shot. Or if maybe for this shot, like Miss Miguel that needs to get the shot. Or maybe this shot, it's like, we're gonna do skates. We're gonna have Tessa, the director doing it. 
So I think it, it was just beautiful that everybody was just willing to do, and like put their ego aside and do whatever was best for the film. And I think that, like I didn't realize that it was like that. So when I saw that, I knew that like filmmaking is something that I want to continue to do. I want to continue to be a part of it. And honestly, I was inspired by Miguel. I was inspired by Rico, by Kenny, by Tessa, by every, all of you that were part of Volador and all of you that were made this film happen. Honestly, inspired me so much and like made me realize that, you know, there's so many beautiful stories that can be told.